Hello everyone, this is Sarah Kamal Matu. Today I will be talking about my FAMER project, which is inculcating clinical reasoning skills through a clinical problem simulation approach in the preclinical years of medical education. On the background, we have students who promoted to the clinical years. They reported lack of solid clinical reasoning skills and deficient confidence toward different skills taught in the clinical skills lab while facing the patient. Their perception contributed to make a huge challenge for the instructor to formulate a different method in teaching clinical reasoning. Mary J. Wimmer et al. highlighted that the purpose of linking simulation to PBL is to give the first year medical student a sense of why they are learning this material. However, with the regular PBL where the case is presented totally on paper, the sense of urgency and the emotive aspects are not there. The opportunity we have is the well-equipped clinical skills lab with high fidelity mannequin plus the diversified thus harmonious project team. The objective is to implement problem-based case scenario that includes practicing free unguided clinical reasoning in conjunction to applying clinical skills to be conducted by the preclinical medical students, then to enhance all aspects of clinical skills, then to compare the participating students' perception of the clinical problem simulation session with the perception of the students taught in the regular approaches. These are images of the high fidelity mannequins we have in the skill lab. Regarding the method, we started already training of the project team on the format of the session, how to facilitate the case and how to provide constructive uh, feedback to students. The phases of the, the session will be divided into four phases. The pre-simulation phase where the students will receive pre uh, preparation instruction. They will also uh, see, receive a declaration that this exercise will not contribute to, the, to their grades in the clinical skills lab and we will obtain their informed consent. Then we will divide the students into groups where uh, two to six students are in each. Regarding the simulation phase, we will present the case scenario. Students will work to cover a list of requisites, which is history taking, management of plan formulation, positively or negatively uh, criticize a provided video. The debriefing phase where each group will prepare a description report about the case and they will uh, reflect on what happened in the session. The feedback phase where a feedback questionnaire will be provided to students who have actively participated at the end of the session. And on the other hand, the same questionnaire will be filled by the control student group to assess their perception regarding the uh, regular approach. The results will be collected uh, from focus group discussion and questionnaire and the debriefing and feedback phases, and they will be analyzed through the SPSS version 20. The limitations to this uh, study were the academic suspension due to COVID-19 pandemic, followed by online teaching of clinical skills. The instability caused to postpone the actual application of the project. However, the leadership approved the project idea and they promised the project team to receive the IRB and possibly to contact the students uh, live as soon as possible. Thank you very much.